Hey everyone, this is Kiana from Flooded. I'm gonna show you how to use Illustrator to design and create a three layered birthday cake topper. So first, so we're starting in Illustrator and basically we're gonna start out with the design. The, um, the cake topper is gonna say birthday queen. And so basically right here, I'm just um, figuring out which font I want to use for the design. And I'm going through um, searching. I finally, um, I figured I want to use something that has to kind of look like the queen. So I'm gonna use an old English font here. And I th think that um, both words in that type will look good. So you'll see I have um, selected queen and just do, um, clicked on birthday, which had the same font style. And I am uh, resizing it so that we can kind of get a good um, look at how it's going to be situated for the topper. Now that um, I've kind of got a little layout of how it is, um, as I was thinking about doing it, I said it needs something more than just the text. So um, I went in and found a crown to add for this. Um, I usually just do a Google, a simple Google search for an SVG file and um, put it in there and see what I like. Here, I think I ended up using um, a file from I think it's called um, Noun Project, and they have simple SVGs that are free and um, really easy to use. Especially if you're using Illustrator, it's really easy to go in and change the color. Now, um, it is a paid um, site, but they do have free, like you can get a free SVG or a free PNG. Um, but you're not able to edit it. If you use the paid version, you can change the color and I think you can like edit size and things like that. Um, but I just use the, the free version of it because we can go on the Illustrator and change it, the color and things that, um, how we want it. Okay, so now that I found the crown, um, I'm going to go ahead and resize it to fit um, the layout. And I want the crown to sit on the side of the queue. So you see me resizing it and um, putting it together, you know, tilting it so that it's at the right angle. Um, and once it gets to the right angle, what you want to do is because these are two separate, um, two separate pieces, we need to fuse them together. So um, once it gets into the correct spot, um, I go ahead and select everything and use Command Shift O because I'm on a Mac and that will outline that text and turn it from editable text into basically an image. So now, right now, we can't change the text if we need to. So after we did that, um, I went to Windows and selected Pathfinder and clicked the unite tool so that all of those, this whole thing is now one image um, where the crown and everything is one piece, it's not two. And so then what I did was I went over to the path tool and what we're looking to do is we're gonna offset the design. And if you can see here, offset path, um, I ended up, you just kind of play with the numbers to see. Basically what you're trying to do is get this to be one solid piece um, and this will be the background that holds everything for your cake topper. As you can see here, um, I think mine was at 0.5, which gave me a solid piece. And um, I'm gonna go back because I want all of my edges to be rounded. And right here, you can see where they are actually um, pointy. So I just go right back to the um, Pathfinders tool and click offset path again. And because it was already at five, and then I go here to, and I change it to round it where it said miter and it rounds off all my edges. I go back over to the pathfinder and click the unite tool and fuse all of those pieces together. So now we have a solid. So I'm just gonna change color so that we can see it here <clears throat> on the back. 
my back piece, um, I want it to be black. And you know, whatever color you're gonna use on your Cricut machine for your cake topper, you can just change the colors to those. But for this this one here, we're changing, we're keeping the back black, and then we're gonna change birthday queen to um, red. Now, because it's three layers, we have to create that second layer. So I duplicate the top layer here, as you can see, and I do the same thing that we did previous. That's gonna be white. And then I go back into the um, offset path and I just um, turn, instead of doing 0.5 as the offset, I make it a little smaller. And you can click the preview and see what it is. And it'll show you how big it is. And I think that's big enough for me. So I'm going to click the Unite tool again under Pathfinder infuse everything now you'll see the where you can still see some of the black um, openings so all I did is click into it and delete those and it will give me a solid image again and you can see it and see as I select those it just deletes them right out and makes that white a solid and then from here, I have my three layers. So now I'm going to move the red up and it's because that was the first layer we created, it's in the back. So I'm just bringing it to the front, rearranging it. And there's the three layers for the cake topper. Now, um, I highlighted it, but what was happening was um, I resized it again. And when I went into, I zoomed into it because I saw something that was still there. It was like um, the, the words birthday queen, but it was invisible, but you could still see the outline. So what I had to do was go back in and I think I zoom in so that you could see it. See right here when I click on it, you can still see that there's something there, but it's, it doesn't have a color to it. If you see that little blue line, that's what I'm talking about right there. So what I did was I selected the wand. What I'm trying to do is just click that so that that can be deleted. And what I ended up doing was just moving the red and the white layers. And um, that layer was on the black layer. So I then went back in and used the Unite tool again and fused that black layer and it took that away. You'll see me do that in just a minute. You can see it right there, the light, the blue. And I click the Unite tool and it took it out. So from there, I reassembled the cake topper. And now this file is ready to be sent into Design Space. All I'm doing here is I'm getting ready to resize the artboard so that when it's imported into Design Space, it doesn't have all that space at the bottom. Um, you know, it'll just be the size of the cake topper, height and width. All right, so now we're saving. So I always do save as, I name my file. This is um, Birthday Queen. Um, and you name, it, you name it and save it wherever you want. But for Cricut Design Space, you save it as an SVG file. Select the place that you want to save it. You have it as an SVG. Then you click Save. And a box will pop up. So you always want to make sure that you select Convert to Outlines. If you don't convert it to an outline and you did not 
um, do that command shift O on your text, it will import into Cricut and say that it doesn't recognize um, some characters and it'll, you know, it may import some of the letters and some of them may be missing. So that's an important step to make sure you outline your fonts. So within, um, we're now in Cricut design space and you're going to create a new project and go to upload file. And wherever you save that file, you go and click on that to upload my, I saved mine on the desktop. And there it is. You click upload and then add to your canvas. And once it's on the canvas, you'll see everything there. A little rule of thumb I like to do is combine all of the same color objects. So for all of the red, I'll select all those layers. First you have, you'll click on it and um, you'll ungroup it. If you see here, I clicked on the um, Unite tool and it did it. And so now all the red is one layer, all the black is one layer and the white is one layer. So now the file is ready to cut. Just making sure that it's the right size that I want it to be. And then um, there, I think I hit weld. And so when you do weld, it changes all the layers to the same color. We want to keep them different so that we can know what color goes on what layer. And now that that's done, it's ready to cut. And as you can see, your white is on the white layer, your black is on the black layer, and the red is on the red layer. Now, because this is going to be um, cut out in paper, we don't need to reverse the image. So you can just put your paper there and go ahead and cut. And from there, that's it. That's how you bring an image from Illustrator, create an image in Illustrator, bring it to Cricut Design Space and cut it. Thank you for your time.